I wanted to always meet the students where they're at. And that's how yoga found me. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't really think about it too much. Um, I think that uh, the practice that I'm teaching, what I'm offering as a teacher has so much depth, the more powerful reaction that I get is from the teaching. Once they're in the training, once they do uh, practice with me, uh, they're either gonna enjoy that experience, they're gonna get something out of it, and hopefully they're gonna get what I got out of it from my teachers, and that's gonna be the impression they're left with. Try to find the balance between concentration and letting go. So if you feel good in the crane, you're going to take one knee off the arm. Uh, so I was uh, trained in, in theater first, uh, in voice and movement and performance. And then I got into writing and uh, filmmaking after that. A lot of uh, understanding how the body moves, a lot of understanding how to communicate, how to use your voice. So that really lends itself very naturally to being a teacher and presenting, you know, yoga. Losing old uh, regional dialects. Uh, letting go of ways that you move that are not necessarily natural uh, so that you could embody a new character, right? So that you're not bringing your old habits um, with you uh, in every role that you might play. That's a lot like yoga. There's, there's so much in yoga where our job is to let go of patterns and let go of old habits. One of the, um, the master teachers, my teacher uh, Ramaswamy, his teacher Krishnamacharya, one of his famous quotes is that yoga is simply replacing old patterns that are not helping you with new patterns that are leading you in a more positive direction. Inhale. Exhale. Be with the people around you. Inhale. Exhale. Keep going. Exhale. One more on your own. Shiva is often depicted as, as a yoga practitioner sitting in the lotus pose, eyes closed in a deep state of meditation, and there's often a lot of animals around him trying to distract him. And the, the symbol of Shiva is that, uh, you know, you've mastered the distractions. You've gone beyond the, the distracting mind. So what I want to do with, with Shiva Yoga, I've been trained in a number of different styles and I wanted to take the, you know, the best elements from my teachers and bring them all together under one umbrella. I teach a lot of asana. I teach a lot of, um, you know, correct alignment in asana, how to break down asanas, how to learn about the anatomy of the body. But I also teach the students, you know, pranayama and meditation, um, doing the breath work, uh, working on focusing the mind, and the deeper layers of the practice, we just slowly build in as they're ready for them, the, the practices are, are there. This is not just gonna change your body, this is gonna change your mind, and it's gonna change your life. Right? And once you have that, that deeper experience that yoga pr can provide, it literally does affect your relationships with everything, right? Um, in, in a really profound and, and positive way. So with the, the Shiva